Welcome Vault Dwellers, my name is Nacho Vidness, and we're back at Somerville Place, and today we are going to cover the trailer home and the cabin that I have built here. If you'd like the full backstory of all the inspirations for this settlement, you can go check out part one. But for today, we're just going to talk about a little trailer and a little cabin that I made. The trailer is out back behind where the traders can come in and trade with the swamp folk that live around here. I've gone and supported the trailer with a shack bridge to try and make it look supported and we'll just pretend that we don't see that edge of the bed clipping through the side of the trailer there. I do wish that I could find a door that better matched the rest of the trailer but it's still workable at any rate. So there's a, a bed and some storage and a cooking station. I always like to put some Mr. Handy fuel next to these cooking stations to make it look like they have some reason for cooking on a gas stove instead of just open flame. It's a little kitchen area and a seating nook and some storage. So nice little trailer home, not much to it, but I liked the way that it turned out enough that I wanted to show it to you guys. Over here is a log cabin that I built out of the uh, Cabin in the Woods mod by Ethreon. He does a lot of great mods, although you do need to be careful with his updates. From time to time they do move things around in unexpected ways. Nevertheless, it's worth it in my opinion. He's got some great stuff here and I was able to make a nice looking cabin. They've got some wind chimes here and a porch that they can sit on and every once in a while they'll go fishing out in the swamp. I figure they're probably looking for crawdads and stuff. Inside is the kitchen area. I've mentioned in previous videos at this settlement that there is no electric power here and so everything is lit with fires and lanterns and stuff. I scaled down a support from USO and put it inside the fireplace there to try and make it look like that pot has something to hang from. The bedroom back here is just enough for one person. It's got a trunk and a radio to listen to at night and if the window wasn't in such terrible shape it would even have a nice view of the swamp to the south. Upstairs is another little seating area at the top of the stairs as well as a lot of mounted creatures that I thought kind of fit the hunting lodge feel of this place. The Now I mentioned I don't like Creation Club. This is out of a mod not out of Creation Club. Anyways this also kind of feels like it fits in with the uh, hunting lodge theme of the place and there's a couple of bunk beds up here. Those are out of the Creative Clutter mod, I think, by Dino. And there's a desk and a typewriter, although the Swamp Folk are illiterate, so I don't know what they're doing with that. Outside, on the top of this truck over here, this is part of the outer wall of the settlement, but it also is where they tan their hides from creatures that they kill in the swamp. It's got a sod roof on it. Sod roofs actually make a lot more sense in dry environments like the Great Plains, but I don't know, it kind of felt like it, it belonged, so I went with it. Anyways, that is the end of the cabin. I have added smoke effects to all the chimneys around here, so if you look close, like you can see some smoke coming out of the chimney for that fireplace that's in the kitchen and there is some smoke coming out of the exhaust from the gas stove over here that you can probably just make out if you're watching on a, on a phone or a tablet and that is available out of the settlement object expansion pack. I also added a bunch of smoke effects to this campfire over here. Just another way to try and make things look a little bit more realistic. So there we go, a trailer house and a cabin. 
If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button, and if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. I think next time we're going to take a look at the kennels up the hill there. If you didn't like, please tell me why in the comments, and I will try very hard to do my best for you next time. Until then, my name is Nacho Bidness, and I'm saying it's a great big wasteland out there. Let's go have fun in it.